terrible little GUI come up. Yeah. Gooey. Right, we haven't said what we're doing yet. Ah, anyway, <laughs> banana split, toaster. Beautiful. <laughs> so we're going to put this whippy wild bar in the banana somehow. I think we'll have to do some dissection. Watch this will be good. I like this. I've got I've got some ideas here. It's going to need to be deeper than no, that. No, it's not. It'll drill its own hole. It's like a it's like a tap. Oh, it's split. No, 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 don't go any further. <laughs> right. Uh, can you like ram the knife in and just hollow it out more? Yeah. Don't split the banana skin though, because that's all that's keeping all the chocolatey goodness in it. Do you want to try and copper wire it back shut at the top? I think it's a good idea. Yeah, as long as we have it sort of sticking out the toaster. I'm probably able to finger this in here, so bear with me. Don't ask why I'm so good at doing surgery. <laughs> I think that's ready for the toaster. Shit. Right, so as the banana's so wide, we've got to uh, put the knife in to jam the banana down. But don't worry, it's unplugged. So hold that down, not yet. Put the banana all the way down to the bottom, like that. Is the copper going to cause any problems? Yeah, oh, say. there's some bananas come out. That's okay. Oh, shit, and now we can power it on. Beautiful. Uh, have we set it to maximum power? Yeah, yeah, I'll set it to <coughs> maximum power. It's maximum. It's not on defrost or anything like that. The plug. Yeah, right, so it's time to go, so pull this out. Oh, shit, it's dead. There we go. It hasn't popped because the banana's lodged. Is that the wrong plug? Yeah. Chris, it's coming out pretty successfully. Hurry up. Do you reckon it's just gonna. Yes. Oh, yeah. That... Right, this isn't actually a banana split at all. But it's a banana that's now very, very mushy and hot. I will eat some. Just you got to get some of the chocolate now. Just for the viewers. How hot is this? This looks pissing hot. Uh, I would tell you, but we don't have the thermometer thing. Really good. Nice. <laughs> it is actually really good. There you go. We've made dinner and dessert. Using only four pound eighties worth of equipment. Four pound eighties worth of equipment, and obviously oh, there's going to be some knobs in the comments saying, "Why didn't you buy some toaster sandwich or just have some bread?" Yes, that would have been cheaper. But Easier. we've had we've had meat and we've had a dessert. That all of that was while filming the floor. Yep, all of that was while filming the floor. I just realised. But there you go. And have a little bit more bananas. This is how I eat at home, you, you're only allowed to use a knife. Router conkers, how to mount. Step one, drill. Beautiful, obviously it will still work because Chris planned where he was gonna drill that. And that was only through two or three PCBs. Fantastic. Oh, something's come back in the way. But... Well, this is giving you an unfair advantage. Oh God, focus has happened. Do you want to do the same to the home hub? This is giving... No, no, I think it's okay. This is giving you an unfair advantage because obviously you've got thicker cable and uh, you've actually got a dedicated hole. I, on the other hand, have the power cable for the home hub duct taped to the back. I think I'm pretty pleased with that though. I've so got no got issue. So we've got Sky versus BT here. Yeah. So we've got Sky versus BT, both of which are probably made by Netgear or Thompson. I should not think BT get their oh, stuff... shattered it a bit. ...outsourced <coughs> somewhere. <coughs> So, we've got router conkers time, boys and girls, maybe. So, the two routers are mounted. I don't think this is fair. I've got a terrible home hub, which is like literally made of shit. I mean, that's the cheapest stuff BT could find. Where the net gear, bloody solid. I mean, you could stand on that, genuinely, and that'd be fine. That is a solid bit of equipment. And it's smaller, so I've got less to hit. Well, you're using a drill. How do you play conkers? What's the rules? Uh, smash into each other. And less out of you. Should we just swing them and see what happens? Yeah, or should we? You're supposed to do it one at a time. Oh, okay. person's right oh, okay. still, so I'm going to clear the area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about the room. <laughs> also missed. Why did it miss? Oh, that's why it missed. <laughs> right, first rule of conkers: make it so the routers can actually hit each other. That's on the end of the cable, and it just touches the top. So should we uh, hang them from the same thing so they actually hit? Yeah, you probably should. British engineering. Oh, 
Yeah, that's perfect. These are going to take a lot of abuse. Do you have a hammer? <laughs> <laughs> the roof is vibrating a lot. I oh, know. Oh. Earth cable, probably still suitable for carrying out, isn't it? Oh, we have opening. See, the net gear wasn't so tough overall. Well, I don't know, it will still run. I don't think it will, you drilled through the piece. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Dent Extreme BGA removal. <laughs> oh, this is pretty good. Oh, I drilled the whole through straight it. through <laughs> the little wireless adapter. Is that PCI? Yeah, a lot of rotors do this. There's one in that as well. What the hell? Yeah, let's do a little tear now. Probably what that is. That's the uh, switch. <laughs> oh. oh, there we go. Can you just put that in a laptop or? You can, I don't know if you find any drivers or that is the antenna. You know that all the bollocks about, oh it's curved, the signal comes out. It's soldered on, I'm not gonna rip it off. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the antenna, I'll just pop the PCI card out. Can you give me the PCI card, Chris? Let's just do a little tear down on that side and just here. Oh uh, yeah, that seems pretty good. 